Hi everyone! Today I am playing Sultai Control. This deck started out basically as a meme to see if I could make a deck with only Jace Wielder of Mysteries as the win condition, no other cards capable of winning the game. And the answer turned out to be yes, technically, but uh, while there were a few solid things going on, that deck building restriction turns out to have built in a lot of problems. So I got rid of that, and it's still basically the only way to win the game. I am not likely to win many other ways, but uh, the deck is a lot better now. So I say Sultai, why not blue-black? And the answer is one card. So far, I haven't really been bitten by the mana having these green lands in it, so that isn't really much of a big deal to splash. And Tamiyo has been really, really good for me. I think it's her uh, passive, I should say, is important because it kind of breaks open control mirrors in a lot of ways. A lot of people board in duress and they've always got thought erasures and, uh, I don't know, things like that. Or like Angrath's Rampage and she shuts that all down. So that's quite good. Her plus is kind of whatever. It will often whiff, but uh, sometimes it'll generate you card advantage. And it does always mill, like, a few cards at least, or I should say, it always gets four cards out of your library, and so it speeds up killing with Jace. But really, the value is in her minus three, because regrowth is a deceptively powerful effect. Basically, when you think of it, it's like, okay, well, this gets you a card back, but it gets you back any card. If you need more card advantage, it can get back a Jace. If you need a counter spell, it grabs a Sinister Sabotage. If you need... A cheap kill spell, it's this, it can be a sweeper. Basically, she is just extra copies of whatever you need right now. So, this card is really good. If there are other green cards that I eventually think about, I'll consider adding those in, but honestly, I think she earns a splash on her own. Outside of that, it's pretty standard blue-black control. We are very light on win conditions. Like I mentioned, Jace is basically the only way we are going to win the game most of the time. And that makes us really good in control mirrors. We have very few targets for people's removal. The only creature in the main deck is Augur of Bolas, and we really don't care if they point a cast down at that or whatever. And we've got a lot of the best tools for going long, like three main deck Narset, Jace draws a lot of cards, you really want to draw Chemistry's Insight and control mirrors, and multiple search for Azkantas. So moving on to the sideboard. Oh, and because our... Con Color requirements are mostly blue-black. We get to put in a few greedy lands. Memorial to Genius is fine. I've only cracked it a couple times, but it was great when that happened. And more importantly, we have Field of Ruin to blow up opposing uh, Azkanta the Sunken Ruins. And Blast Zone has been excellent. This has multiple times saved me against Mono Blue because you can just play it on turn four and blow up all their one drops and there's nothing they can do to stop you. And that will often bring you back into a game that was otherwise lost. Also in Control Mirrors, we don't... Our Planeswalkers are odd because they are on four instead of on five. And so you can just kind of have this ticking up so that the moment opponent plays a Teferi or a Nicole Balas Dragon God, we have a Blast Zone ready to take it out. So really good card. Uh, if you decide the mana is too bad, I would probably cut Tamiyo and go straight blue-black and play these before I cut these for more colored sources. Moving on to the sideboard, it's pretty typical stuff. Uh, Duress, Negate, Narset, Kefnet for uh, control mirrors. This card, like, never goes away and can generate a lot of advantage. If you untap and get a free Chemister's Insight off of Kefnet, it's pretty easy to win the game. Against more aggro strategies, we've got an extra Moment of Craving going up to three, three Cry of the Carnarium and a Frasca's Contempt can handle basically whatever we want. And then also against aggro, but mostly against more mid rangey strategies, we have Enter the God Eternals. This card is really good. A 4-4 four, four for 4 that gains 4 life, kills something, and more than most other decks, we are built to abuse the, uh, uh, the mill for 4. I, like I mentioned, the full 3 Chemister's Insight, filling up the graveyard for Tamiyo, uh, search for Ascanta, and winning more quickly with Jace. So, yeah. Overall, I think this deck is really solid. Um, it's between this and Grixis for the decks that I like the most as far as control decks right now. I've never been a huge fan of Esper because their mana has serious issues and actually winning with that deck is like really miserable since 
it usually involves looping to fairy or whatever, or praying that your chromium is good enough. Uh, winning with Jace is a lot more pleasant. Uh, so yeah, I think this deck is pretty good, and I'm interested to see some what will probably be very long matches with it. All right, getting into it. Um, being on the play is good. This mana with a Ritual of Soot is not. But if I'm being honest, most of the best of 3Q tends to be control matchups, where this hand is just great. So, I'm gonna take a shot in the dark. It might be mono red and we'll just die, but oh well, that happens. Basically, I think the odds were much higher on Mulligan and then lose the game because we, uh... Because we get a bad six, then this hand isn't good enough in the matchup and we just die. Huh. Are they holding up shock there? Okay, so this looks like just guy control. Um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play Field of Ruin here. Uh, this way we're holding up Sinister Sabotage. We might crack this to get a black. I don't think so, though. I don't think we're gonna need double black quite yet. Alright, now I think we're in a good spot. We hit the fourth land on time and nothing bad has happened yet. And we get to start going for these Chemister's Insights to accrue advantage and keep our land drops flowing. We have multiple hard counters and multiple Planeswalkers. Yeah, and they really didn't have the option of countering that there, because we would just get to untap and play a Planeswalker. I'm not sure exactly what their payoff is in Jeskai. Probably Niv-Mizzet is the card we should most be scared of. Uh, we have a few no answers to that, though. I'm gonna go ahead and pitch this Ritual of Soot. I don't think it's likely to be good. This is also not likely to be good. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and Thought Erasure here, see what's going on. We've got a counter spell up, and we could Jace if we clear the way and there's nothing to do. Uh... Hmm. So, if they have a Teferi, sabotaging here is, like, pretty bad, because they can counter again, and we won't get their Teferi and they resolve it. If they have a Niv-Mizzet, not countering here is, like, really bad, because we'll probably just lose to Niv. Because you can see from their mana, they're very heavy red and low white, so they are probably a Niv-Mizzet deck. That's probably the whole reason that they are blue-red. Whereas, in other terms, they're probably just a Teferi deck. Yeah, I I'm really scared of a, tef or a, a Niv here. We might lose the game for doing this, but... Spell Pierce. Okay, they're like definitely a Niv-Mizzet deck. Alright, we need to draw an answer. Or hope that they don't have it, or miss sixth land or something. Chandra. Okay. This. Huh. No Never mind, I have no idea what's going on here. Um. That's probably a good draw. Can just go ahead and slow things down again. Uh. Trade one for one with their planeswalker, go back to holding up our hard counters. Maybe they're not niv it. I feel like I really don't understand what's happening anymore. If they don't do anything on this next turn, we'll probably try sticking a Jace. Yeah, they can have a Dovin, that's fine. That's kind of annoying, but, like, overall not terribly impactful. Alright, let's see if we can stick this guy. We can. Alright. Mill ourselves. Cool, and we hit a land, which is great, because now it means we have Sabotage up again. If they don't do anything, we can start putting counters on this to get to 6, in case they are a Niv deck. It looks like they're instead just like a Planeswalker control deck. Maybe Urza's Ruinous Blast or something along that, something along that line. Just shutting down Chandra, we don't need to deal with that. Tamiyo seems quite good. Let's go ahead and uptick first, because Jace doesn't do anything else, so you can just kind of fire that off. Um, yeah, I'm gonna Thought Erasure to start. Whew, they get- okay, they're a Sarkon deck. Suddenly, everything makes sense. Uh, well, we're gonna take- oh god. I think we're going to take Teferi, because he is very annoying. 
Um, currently have eight lands. It's probably about what we want. Eh. I'll go ahead and keep one. So I'm going to pass here. And basically I'm going to be countering this Sarkon when it comes down. Because that will kill us really fast. And then we're pretty firmly in control here because we can actually Jace uptick on ourselves. And then we can stick Tamiyo, who will then get us back Every our Sinister Sabotage. And so when they play another one of these, we'll get to counter it. So yeah, we're pretty firmly in control here. Uh, I guess things could go bad here if they, yeah, if they played another important thing, but we were just going to be racing so far ahead there. Okay, Planeswalker Control. Definitely want this last Vraska's Contempt. Uh, probably want Narset. Definitely want Negates, Duresses. Not sure if we want Kefnet yet. Out of Jeskai, I don't think we want any of these. We don't have to worry about Thief of Sanity. And I don't think we want Ritual of Soot. We might be sad we don't have this if they have, like, Sahili and they start making a bunch of 1-1s. One but for now, I think this arrangement looks good to me. The one other card to consider is Kefnet. Uh, but we didn't show any creatures, but we didn't show... I suppose we showed a lot of cards, so maybe we want Kefnet? I think that's kind of tough. I'm gonna not board in Kefnet for the moment. Uh, this hand looks fine. Can't cast these Thought Erasures, but they'll still probably be good later. And Narset will be excellent. Would love to hit a black land here. Okay. Tap land like that is a good sign. Uh, means the rest of their mana is probably a little awkward. Cool. They didn't have anything, huh? Alright, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and snap off a Thought Erasure here. I would suspect they had Negate if they kept this hand. Spellbeer's close enough. Alright, so if they, like, tap out for anything, we just get to slam Narset. Since they do not, I'm gonna attempt to Thought Erasure again. Whether this resolves or not, we're gonna get to stick it as Kanta, which will be very helpful in the long run. I suppose we should have played a land there to uh, to play around a second spell pierce, but I really just wanted to resolve this anyway. Okay, slightly annoying. Probably gonna bounce our search, which is whatever, because we just get to replay it. Hmm. Do we replay it though? Nah, I think I'm gonna do this. Make sure nothing particularly nasty happens to us. Ah, okay. So I figured there was something like this going on, but I wasn't totally sure. Uh, let's get Narset out of there. Negate uh, is blank with Teferi out, so can't do that, unfortunately. Mind and meditate and prepare. Uh, alright. Well, if we can't actually, like, fight what they're doing, we can just draw every card in the universe and try to run away with the game that way. But yeah, like, they've got a couple counters which are annoying, but Teferi doesn't really do much if we aren't playing that game. Like, he turns off our counter spells, but we're not trying to counter anything at the moment. Uh, he can bounce our search for Azkanta, but they don't even get a card off of that because of Narset. They could Jaya's and try to take her down. But even if they have a land here, uh, or they would need a land here to actually Jaya's her to death. Which seems kind of rough, and then we just stick another Narset anyway. They don't know that, though. This I've tried to make legendary sorceries and Mox Amber work probably more than just about anybody. Uh, I think this is the worst one. I, I have not been able to get close to making this really powerful. Like, it just takes so much mana. 
uh, Mox Amber sort of accelerates you into the other ones. Like, if you have a 3-drop Planeswalker, this puts you to 5 for Urza's Ruinous Blast or Yawgmoth's Vile Offering or something like that. Uh, but, like, you need, like... 6, 7 mana for this to be very good, and even then it's just not always good, whereas 6 mana gets you a time walk out of one of the other ones, so. Alright, I'm gonna expose Narset to dying here, because, uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal, since we have a spare, and we got a card out of her that way anyway. Let's see if I can bait and negate here. If they do have Negate, unfortunately, we still can't stick Jace, because Mox Amber gives, us, gives them the ability to Disdainful Stroke. So instead, I'm just going to use this opportunity to get Augur down. We get a Negate, which isn't good, but we can start pressuring Teferi. Yeah. Here we go. This is, like, kind of funny, though. Uh, I'll give them that. Uh, one of the issues with this is it being a sorcery, but end step, burn your board, actually seems kind of good, so. Uh, kudos. I assume they'll want to do that at some point here to get rid of the auger. Go ahead and attack there. Well, that didn't pan out. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I suspect she won't resolve, but if she doesn't, then uh, I think we'll be in a pretty good spot shortly after. Yeah, because now we'll be able to resolve a Jace. I really just wanted... If she did resolve, I was just going to start digging for Vraska's Contempt to get this off the board, and I think we can outmuscle them pretty easily once we don't have to deal with this anymore. Okay, that's pretty irritating. I'm impressed anyone would be so foolish as to me. I'm well equipped to deal with nuisances like you. All right. Let's see if I can resolve this guy. Do they have one more counter as their last guard? Ah, oh, man! Alright, that was not very likely, but here we are, I guess. It's so like I've been saying, they kind of need to Jaya's her away, or else Teferi just really isn't doing anything. I still think we're favored, but... Their one unknown being a blind negate for Jace has been pretty awkward. They've had a lot of counter spells. Um, if we do get another game, I'm definitely boarding into Kefnet. All this negate spell pierce garbage is really bad against Kefnet. Okay, that doesn't do anything. We do need to get rid of Chandra. She's the first one they played that's actually scary. We haven't seen uh, Vraska's Contempt yet, and that's a little annoying. When pursuing creativity, defy convention. Right. Um, still doesn't do anything yet, but hopefully they don't find anything too good off of this plus one. Then we'll get to Contempt next turn. Dovin is being kind of annoying here. We like stopped hitting land drops for a little while. It's you oh. burning. Well, that's not very good, so I'm <laughs> okay with them hitting that one. Okay, again, quite annoying. Ah, oh, but she whiffed. Haha! -ha. Victory! If Chandra Fire Artisan didn't ult so quickly, I would, like, even consider uh, blasting... Uh, this to fairy so we could actually like play a normal control game again. But... Let's try this. Okay, they don't get to draw their card. I assume that they're attempting to either get another to fairy down, which again is like not really that powerful, or they can uh jai us for one, but then we're just gonna get to stick our new Narset, and that's better overall, I guess. Mox Amber to fairy is really good though. Like, it just gives an extra layer of flexibility that he can, uh, he can minus to draw, or draw a card and generate mana. Right on schedule. Boxes are made to be thought outside of. There right. was nothing. So, go away, Chandra. 
This was a waste of my time. And we don't have enough mana to do anything else, so go ahead. So they get their blind draw, and they get a draw off Narset, and possibly one off Teferi if they want to kill our Narset. The trick for this. Whew! Uh... Dead. Uh, Sarkhan's plus one, we'll just take 16. Alright, that was pretty unlucky if you ask me. We just never hit what we needed to. Yeah, that was real gross. Um, I'm gonna go down a win con. Because we're bringing in new win cons. Yeah, we just got buried in all their planeswalkers and never quite got anything going. I think that game would have been really different if they hadn't, uh... If they hadn't had the negate for our Jace. If we'd gotten to stick the Jace in there. But as it was, we couldn't, uh... We never got their Teferi off the table, so we couldn't use our negate. We had to burn our one thing on Chandra. Like, if we'd had another Contempt. I guess we could have taken 16 there. And uh, prayed for another Contempt. But the odds on that are not incredible. This hand's quite good. Mana to cast all our spells. Hold up Negate on 2, although that doesn't matter much. Then try to stick Narset or hold up Sabotage. Okay. They're definitely holding up Spell Pierce here. So I'm just not going to play into Spell Pierce. We really need to hit our fourth land on time naturally. Huh. I guess we can miss for a few turns, but ideally we could like Thought Erasure and Stick Search for Ascanta next turn. Uh, we can afford to whiff for one more turn. Their main deck spell pierces are like, kind of just insane. Ugh. God. Wow, I can't believe that resolved. Actually, <laughs> I'm just baffled. Well, I hope we get to untap with it. They still don't have white, so like they're not to fairy aim me or anything. Dovin is annoying, Your but. Will either be a tragedy or comedy of errors. Oh, but it enables Teferi. Okay. Well, that went very poorly for us, really fast. But. Huh. Dovin fixing with Mox Amber. That's funny. Alright. I think we're gonna lose this game to missing our land drops, which really sucks, but. Um. Denying draws doesn't really matter yet. Let's just start going off with Jace. Always an and I will pitch this spare search for Ascanta. They don't know it's spare, but... They looked like they were a little soft at answering our Planeswalkers. Like, that Narset sat there and was annoying the entire game. So even though we fell really far behind from this sequence... Oh, well, never mind. They had the good Planeswalker against Jace. Oh god, they've got a Kazmina. Wow. Uh, I feel like this matchup should not be particularly losable. I think it should be, like, very easy. But I think we are going to lose it anyway. Uh, on the play, we missed a land drop before they did. And the turn that we missed a land drop, they were able to go off really hard and punish us. Even fix their own mana issues with a... I can't imagine this comes up very often, but it came up here. Meditate and prepare. Oh god, now they have Chandra going. So we like need to hit uh No, I am not making Need to hit Vraska's contempt without them having a counter, like right now. Alright, I'll give I'll give it one more draw, but I think we're pretty sunk. We're just lose cause. the game to these wizards as well. Oh my gosh. Anyone watching this video who tuned into my stream earlier knows that this was already a rough day of magic, but this this match is not helping things. Oh. Alright, we, we get to keep playing, I guess. Let's try this. 
Um, sure. Let's try to stick multiple slow advantage cards. They have another counter. No? Okay. My prowess so she gets to stick around at least a little longer. Hone your prowess. Oh my god. Where are my Vraska's Contempts? I board up to so many. <laughs> I just never draw them against this. Ah! Draw three Narsets. Just can't find a Vraska's Contempt to save our life. Hell, even like a Kefnet would be good here, but... I think we're just too buried by all this. Every day is a new I guess Contempt just isn't even good because of Kazmina here. This is a really funny interaction though. Kazmina does not line one up well against Narset. If you zero her, you won't draw, but you do have to discard. So Narset got to eat an extra card there for free. If it weren't for this Kazmina, I still wouldn't actually even feel that bad, just because uh, Jace is a win con, even if you're not drawing cards. Oh, come on, opponent. Oh boy. This is one of those situations where I think we're like 95% to lose the game. And I'm playing because you play a lot more than 20 games of Magic. Like, those losses add up if you just concede for no reason. But every minute that opponent tanks and just does nothing makes me desperately want to just concede and move on to a new one. Like, the, this was not a difficult play. You just needed to attack and play your Chandra, who will win the game very shortly by herself. That's more like it. Burning Teferi? They gotta have another one, right? No? No other Teferi? Well, I'm quite surprised. Keep an open mind. Um... Counters, like, sort of have text now, but, like, not really. Since, uh... Since Dovin's making them cost extra. Alright. I was just gonna rebuy uh It's a matter of give and take. I was going to attempt to rebuy duress there. Uh, since that's something we could actually play. Sit back and watch okay. it burn. Chandra hit again, not very good. We do have six mana, so if we find a contempt, we can hit this and then like they don't really have that much going on. Oh god, are we getting jias If so, why are they tapping manually, please? Oh, that was a rough match. I think that matchup should be very easy, and I would... If I were able to rematch opponent, I would instantly click to do so every single time. But that's how it goes sometimes. Let's hope the next couple matches are better. Alright, second match with Sultai Control. Hoping to not have any more Heartbreakers today, because oh man, I've had plenty of those. Maybe instead we'll just lose very quickly. Kinda need the black mana and we need the fourth land. Hopefully this isn't a matchup where we get horribly punished for the slowest start in the universe. Well. Watery Grave tends not to be able to punish this terribly badly. Thought Erasure, sure, because Esper has never not had Thought Erasure. I'm gonna take Narset and then be able to counter whichever one of these I play. Another Narset, please! No. Alright. Okay, we're gonna need to start drawing better. We need like a chemist's insight yesterday, or we're just gonna get buried really quickly by all this. Well, 
That's step one. Basically, Chemister's Insight is the best card that isn't worth countering. Uh, yeah, let that resolve. This indicates to me that they might have drawn, like, Main Deck Negate or something like that. No, they were just missing a land drop. Alright, I think that was really hasty on their part. I think they would have been better off... Well, we're revealing something by doing this, but... Jace is, like, mostly just better. Yeah, alright. Right. Well, we need to hang on to this Jace, because little does opponent know, we build up for two others, and so except for the two Tabios to rebuy them, we're, like, out of wood cons. <laughs> Alright, tap lands, so they did hit their fourth land eventually. Nurse set partner of Veils is really irritating, but we can just contempt her. This is just annoying because uh, it means we gotta be tapped out on their turn. Or at least tapped low. Well, oh, no. Okay. I was almost like, let's draw and see what we hit so we can know what we want to do. But that is... Don't do that when the opponent's Narset is out. It's not worth it. It's a matter of give and take. Alright. Um... Sure, let's bluff a negate. Don't think our life total is going to be very relevant here, but bluffing them off of slamming a Teferi might be. Or maybe they'll just do it anyway. We'll see. Please don't cast Teferi. <laughs> That's like the one thing we're just not remotely set up to beat right here. I guess we can Tamio and get back uh, Narset and then Narset. It's pretty good. D spark, huh? Your victory. It's just an illusion. Okay. Well, Jace put us up a couple cards. Uh, they very intentionally shocked in, so I'm pretty sure they have a three mana counter. They've been playing a lot of the game like they do. So I'm gonna go back to drawing extra cards. Let's go ahead and get rid of. Moment of craving, because I've arbitrarily decided that that was worse. Alright, and then, I think I mentioned this before, I can start charging this up right now. Alright, I don't have to do anything. I can just keep drawing cards and getting ready to blow up a potential Teferi. Or that, I can blow a potential that. will envelop this world um oh we only have double black that's kind of unfortunate but so I'm kind of opting into two for wanting myself here I'm using one of my Vraskas and also I'm gonna have to cast down the zombie uh, which is maybe not correct maybe I should have burned sinister sabotage but uh I just like having sinister sabotage around the fact that it can fight over my own stuff not just fight their stuff um Hmm. If I Tamiyo and plus, I can uh, keep her around even if she gets hit for a turn and then I'm holding up negate. But if they immediately contempt her, well if they contempt her I can negate that. So what am I naming with the plus here? If your talents are worth cataloging. Uh, we have two Narsets left, uh, one Chemister's Insight, we don't have a lot of four ofs left. I think I'm going to name Narset because uh, that is the last, the best last hit that we're reasonably likely to hit. Like that would have been the best thing to hit. I also considered Search for Ascanta, and that would have been better. So here we get to end our turn. Uh, if they try to fight over Tamio, we can fight back. Uh, hopefully, they don't have two good cards, uh, and then later we'll be able to cast down. Let's go ahead and... Sinister Sabotage, I think, is the worst card game one. Okay. So this was like a bunch of one-for-ones, which means I still think we're kind of advantaged. Overall, I guess 
This goes back to, wow, one card off from hitting with her. That's kind of sad. Um, basically, this goes back to, I probably should have just countered the Liliana on the first try. Uh, because then we could have downticked Tamiyo on a Jace and gotten value there. Um, I would definitely like another Tamiyo here. Uh, we cannot let this happen. We can't lose this Tamiya, because, uh, whew. And it's reasonably likely we could have won the game without that Tamiya, because I think the opponent is very likely to just concede, uh, and not be able to deal with it. But the thing is, I don't really want to count on that, because we literally could not win the game if we lost that Tamiya. Yeah, that would be rough. Okay, I've usually been boarding out a Jace when we board in the Kefnets. Um, I hate leaving in Cast Down, but you really have to. Thief of Sanity decides these games so easily. Uh, what else do I want to trim? Like, I also kind of want to bring in Vraska's. Yeah, they showed Liliana. I'll bring those in. Maybe go down one Thought Erasure. And bring in a negate, I guess. The sideboard is still a work in progress. I, I've, it's a lot better than it was, but I still don't know what the ideal configuration looks like. Basically, if I wanted to construct the perfect sideboard, I would need to decide what my ultimate 75 or what my ultimate 60 versus Esper Control Game 2 looks like. Alright, Duress. Probably lose our Narset, that's fine. Uh, you really can't keep hands in this matchup off of individual cards. That they'll fall apart very easily. Post-board, they've just got infinity discard spells. Yeah, and throwing another Augur here was actually really good, because it means we get to stick one. I don't think they have anything super great on three that I'm really scared of. Okay, well... If they were planning to Thief of Sanity me, that was a great hit. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Trust wow, they're actually going to bounce my auger? They do know what auger does, right? Uh, that said, I'm actually going to wait. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the scary guy. Bin that, we really want to hit a land next turn. Okay. This guy is irritating. We're gonna need to get rid of him one way or another. This might be a bad idea. Uh, whiff. Okay. Whew. I've got it. Uh, unfortunately, our hand is like basically blank. Uh, we didn't hit any of our discard spells, and they managed to sneak this in, and we haven't hit Avraska's Contempt yet. Which, we binned one, so that's like partially our fault. But we really- we needed a fourth land to cast that anyway. But yeah, we're in... We're in like six and a half out of ten trouble. That's more like it! This card is so irritating. No more games. Cause like, we have to do this right now. There's no question, but we know we just don't have a chance, and it just removes our options so badly. Like, there's absolutely no way for us to play around that Dovin's veto. Like, what? What are we gonna do? Wait until their end step and cast it? No, you can't. The main thing that this makes me want to do is go up to a full four Augur. God, another Planeswalker. And now they have a counter. Another one that we can't play around. Yeah, this this game's over. Even another Augur won't help us now. Alright, I'm gonna go up to all of the discard spells. Because... Yeah, we need to make sure that Teferi doesn't happen. And it sucks, because like the best tool to make sure Teferi never happens would be a negate. But... Like, we drew so many counters that game, and it got us killed. So, 
Um, I'm gonna go down on chemisters. We can try to get our current advantage some other way. We just need to not get buried in planeswalkers again. But yeah, I, I was saying before, we would need to decide on the perfect 60, which as I changed my boarding again there, it should be obvious. I don't know what the perfect 60 is. Uh, and then once we had our perfect 60, we could design a sideboard that lets us turn into that after our initial 60. Okay, their hand is like pretty bad. I'm going to take this because it's the only uncounterable card can hopefully sabotage these. Um, that's great. We'll be able to stick a Narset next turn. The focus and hone your prowess. Thought Erasure's great. I still left cast downs in the deck. Like, we could cut them when we didn't see Thief of Sanity, but... I also don't want to just, like, lose the game to boarding those out and then them having uh, Thief of Sanity anyway. Alright, I'm gonna go Shields down here. But they seem to like their hands, so I get to stick a Search for Azkanta. And they can't play Teferi here, so I'm not that scared. Uh, library seems great. We want more lands. And I'm just gonna pass. Now I'm feeling quite good about this game. No, not today. Uh, do we want the sixth land? Yeah, actually. This is going to be really good. So we get to put that on the library. Tamiyo. Now if they draw any discard spells, they're burned. They don't do anything. And again, they might be able to resolve something here, but we get to Thought Erasure. Yeah. Do we want 7th land? I don't know. I don't think so. The only thing that would really tempt me about a 7th land is... Lands are the only thing that Tamiya very specifically cannot dig you into. Okay, that guy's, like, kind of annoying. Don't worry. I got um, go ahead and bin that. Found another one anyway. Let's see. God, Teferi's so irritating. Ugh. Let me aim uh, research. Yeah, sure. Let's name Augur of the Loss. Oh, we hit one. Yeah! Alrighty. Uh, cool. We could contempt this guy right now, but he's like not really that scary if we can overwhelm him. So I'm actually going to take this opportunity to stick Kefnet. Because like they couldn't even draw with Chemisters there. They could bounce him, but then we'll just contempt him anyway, and they don't get a card draw if they bounce Kefnet, so it's like not really very relevant. Yeah, and they just pack it in. All right. So that second game was pretty frustrating, but third game is a little more how I expect that to turn out. At the same time, we had a very good draw, and as I commented at the beginning, opponents was very poor. So we did have to get lucky to have that work out. But still, one and one Hopefully we can end this with a winning record. Alright, final match with Sultai Control on the play. And it's great. Need green for Tamiyo, but you don't really want to play her on turn four most of the time anyway. Opponent about to beat us down with these Rakdos sleeves. Fortunately, Augur is quite good here. Oh, and Moment of Craving is even better. <laughs> and we find our other Moment of Craving. Sick. Nice. Yeah, like, this card matches up so poorly against Augur of Bolas. Um, I'm gonna play this in case there is something that we want to hard counter. We can always play the Watery Grave Tap next turn. We can just take this real slow, now that we're... Our life total is relatively high, we have a good defensive body, and we've got a great hand at fighting what they're doing.
Um, that's like almost worth countering just to keep this alive since it bricks their board so badly. But I don't think I'm going to. We got these moments. I can go ahead and burn them on this and we'll save our counters for like something scarier. Like a Chandra or an Experimental Frenzy or something like that. Yeah, this is like slightly scarier. Well, that's much scarier, but we'll go ahead and counter that when the time comes. Okay, we need either green or green mana or a Jace or even just a Chemister's Insight would be very helpful here. Um, I think we can even keep that and then just play it tapped. I don't even have to use it yet. Because again, we can just hold up counter and good cards, and we can go for a Tamiyo next turn. If we hit another land, we could Tamiyo down tick pick up a moment of craving. And that's probably quite good. I'm gonna let Steamkin resolve. That's a decent target for our Vasca's Contempt. Go ahead and take one here. Uh, sure. This for three. I'm okay if they want to burn their whole hand. Then we don't have to worry about wondering what, what's going on. Because this is the most mana efficient, I'm just going to contempt this now. If we don't draw anything... Okay, that kind of counts as nothing. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to moment this now while it's tapped, so they can't uh, fizzle it by sacking it. Okay, we're up to 17. They're down to 2 in hand. 1 in hand. I'm not going to counter anything unless it's, like, really important, like a Frenzy or a Chandra. Okay. Last zone. We could be charging these up, but I don't really feel the need to do that yet. Um, Enter the God Eternal is going to be great later, but it's not in our deck right now. Let's go ahead and dig for a Jace. <laughs> Alright, sure. I'll take that. I will not say no. Yep, they pack it in. Okay. I think we were good even without getting really lucky there, but I certainly will not say no to getting really lucky. Alright. Syncopate is clunky, negate is kind of awkward. I don't think we need Ritual of Soot once we have a bunch more of this type of stuff. And I think Narset's pretty bad. This curve is like super awk, but I think this is our best arrangement anyway. Uh, yeah, like we've still got a bunch of counters and... Like, we can always blast zone a Frenzy if it comes down to it. And we saw they're playing Chandra. They're probably not playing both. So our Vraska's Contempts are probably good. Uh, I think we have to mull this on the draw. Oof. I'm gonna keep this because it's already a six. That's a pretty good draw. You can try to slow them down for however long, and then uh, enter the God Eternals might be able to take over the game. I would love an Augur Bolas here. They probably have a light up the stage. No. All right. Well, I'm still going to Thought Erasure here, just to shut down whatever nastiness might be coming. Yeah, like that. I would prefer if that did not happen to me. I think we can bin that. Uh, we don't have any good targets now that we got rid of their Chandra. So here we're about to take a lot of damage, but then we get to like tap land Moment of Craving, and they're almost out of cards. I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. 
So they bring us to nine on board, and they've got two in hand. Oof. Could really use, like, an auger or another moment. Something like that. That is not it. I think we just have to pray that they don't have a three damage burn spells here anywhere. They do not. Alright. Let's hope this works. Target a creature. Target a player. Yay, up to seven! Alright. Opponent, you got like one turn to mill burn us out. Otherwise, Tamio is... Yeah, alright! They're done! <laughs> Sweet! Uh, like I said, we were really close to death that one turn, but then we're able to pull it out. Okay, 2-1 after a pretty disappointing start is pretty good overall so yeah i'm happy with that so if you enjoyed this deck and you want to see more like it you should try subscribing to the youtube channel we post cool stuff like this all the time and then twice a week every week i stream on my twitch page which is linked in the description down below uh, if you go ahead and hit a follow over there you'll get to see all the decks instead of just the one that i think is the sweetest for the day that's all for today thanks for watching <laughs>